ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्रिएट ए न्यू एरे ऑफ एरर एरर्स वैलिडेशन एरर्स डॉट एरे एक्चुअली दिस इज एन जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज एन एरे ऑफ एरर्स नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू पुश ऑल ऑफ आवर न्यू एरर्स टू द uh to this error so we can print all of the error by at once okay let's check for validation error if the validation error is empty then we are going to do something else we are going to render if someone is not valid and has some error with im name email or password this should be password there is something error with name email and password then or uh, those error will show up here okay inside else condition now it's time to work with a mongodb database before doing that we need to install a package that is mongos mongos by using mongos we are going to connect to the mongodb so inside app js here we are going to connect to the mongodb database below this middle layer let's connect our mongodb database actually we need to import mongos first once we have imported mongos successfully then let's use it mongos dot connect we are going to connect to the database you can see it saying uri string this always try to read the suggestion so it will get understand what you are looking for actually i have installed it mongodb on my local system if you haven't installed it on your local system you can use mongodb atlas or mlab but here we are going to use as a local services so you just need to install mongodb it's very simple to install once you have installed mongodb successfully then you have allowed to access mongodb shell for linux you just need to type mongo but for windows you need to type mongod i think i'm not sure i'm just going with mongo here you can see this is the mongodb shell we can write all of our mongodb uh command in here at the very top you can see this is the connecting to mongodb this is the url we need to connect here copy and paste it here for our slash name of your database in my case it will be jwt or you can name anything you want next there will be a callback function first parameter it will take error and second parameter will be uh, actually there is no second parameter now uh, let's print log out something mongo db is connected save it open your terminal where node js is running here it is it's showing a warning we need to pass this option control shift c and we need to pass it here with a comma save it you can see one more warning that is we also need to pass this thing control shift c with a comma first both save it there is no warning is showing here you can see mongodb is connected once you have connected to mongodb you need to create a blu ray of your of your uh, object by using mongos we are going to create a schema for that this is the way you can create schema okay let's make that schema on our folder root folder models inside model will have the name of user schema at first i need to import schema from mongos require 
mongos dot schema const user schema is equal new schema this will be a object and here we are going to make the blue ray we are going to make our schema where our schema will have four thing actually three thing that is that is name email and password because these three three value we are going to save to the database okay so let's do it name name will be type of string and it is required that mean without name you can save it to the database comma copy this and paste it below two more times for email and password as well email and password in our email field this email should be unique every time uh, any user save data to the database unique is true okay now we need to export this schema to another another file so let's do it module dot exports is equal mongos we want to export it as mongos model actually i need to input mongos here const mongos is equal require mongos here in the place of require mongos we can replace it with mongos now let's include let's export model mongos dot model this is the name of our collection our collection name will be user collection don't make it users because it will add a yes automatically when you save a user to the database okay and user schema we want to make a model 